Hey guys, how we doing? I know a lot of you guys are rained out tonight at uh, Charlotte, so you might be sitting around looking for some stuff to view on your phone. Well, I got something for you here. This is Labor Day 2006. It's on Monday, September 4th. This is Rolling Wheels Raceway. Again, this is shot just with the camera staring at the computer monitor, so that's why the photo quality isn't as good as you're used to. My apologies on that, but uh, until I find a better way to do it, it doesn't take me an hour this is how we're going to do it. So let's get started on our little journey here at Rolling Wheels Raceway. Um, I believe that was a car Steve Payne had something to do with at the time, although I'm not really sure. There's Dale Plank right there. You can see him hanging out. And I'm going to kind of rack the focus just a little bit to kind of get rid of those fuzzy lines there. Uh, there is Jimmy Phelps, the number 98 H car right there. This is Chris Schultz from down at Orange County at the time. He always came up for these big events. Bobby Barron, the familiar Jake Spraker, owned one J car. Uh, hey, Butch Tittle, what's going on, man? Nice to see Butch Tittle was up here for this one. Uh, of course, um, there's our crew chief right there for uh, Brett Hearn and his crew. This is Tim Fuller. He was running for the native poker folks up north at this point. There's um, Alan Johnson working on his helmet. And, of course, uh, the famous Jeff Rudelavage, who was his car owner at the time. There you see Mr. Gary Tompkins chatting with his crew. This is Brett Tonkin and all the bunch from down in Pennsylvania. They came up and ran some of these dirt shows. Randy Chrysler, of course. And you can see there was a little bit of mud in this particular night. Here's some of the other teams that are getting ready to go. You see a little bit of Steve Hulsizer's 88 in that shot right there. And, man, Bobco, we miss you. Uh, one of the best pure shooters in the game. He used to shoot the videos at Fonda handheld on the roof. No tripod, nothing. I don't know how the heck he did it. So uh, we miss you, man. And I hope you enjoy shooting videos up in heaven. Some other looks at the pit area. And, of course, Randy Chrysler always brought his rocking chair with him to the racetrack. There's Dave Medler, number one Jets fan in the area right there. As he was getting some stories, he was writing for Gator Racing Photo News uh, back then. And that's right, it was Photo News. John White and Billy Decker before the race. Uh, again, hope you're watching this on your phone. It's going to look better there. There's Ryan Phelps, uh, his not-yet-wife, I believe, a girlfriend at the time. Congratulations to them. They're raising a family, doing well. Ryan's doing great. A couple of car dealerships as well. So getting ready to head out. There's Bob Henry checking out some snitching on the Mag Magasaurus car. I know it's Mags or Us, but we used to call it that. The G-Man right there with us as uh, Paul Guerrero going ready to go out and have some fun. Driver's meeting, everybody's on their way to that to check things out. There's the Hurricane Steve Payne as he gets ready to take on Rolling Wheels Raceway. How about the man, the myth, the legend, Will Cagle? Looking way too sharp on this particular day. Nice jacket, man. There's Tommy Sears and his bunch ready to go. Matt Shepard getting ready. Had a nice picture of him in the car. There's Chip Burdick, and I believe that is Corey Reed doing the driving, uh, the driver's meeting in the pit area. The man with more nicknames than anybody else. I always like Scooby. Although the Quaker Shaker's pretty good. Nice to see Rick Laubach. I always like these shots through, shooting through the car. Anytime I could put the camera in a different position and try to be a little artsy, uh, I was all on it. Looking to see what Alex Tompkins sees here. That's the car in the fore or in the in the foreground there. Russ Hefty. He was a. Uh, the guy who helped, who funded me originally on Doug's Dirt Diary, so we never would have had that without Russ Hefty. $3,000 he gave me to buy equipment and get the website done. Russ, we are eternally in your debt, as should you be in the racing community. We know this guy right there. Tim Curry are taking some laps as Rolling Wheels Raceway was pretty packed. There's a young Billy Dunn getting suited up and getting ready to go. That's his dad helping him out right there. Nice to see you, Norm. And what do you know? The Jeffer, Jeff Hetzler, legendary driver was up at Rolling Wheels that day too. Dave Thompson, car owner, and uh, nice to see him up. A lot of the guys did this too. They used to put Doug's Dirt Diary on the uh, roof supports. I figured that was a quick way for me. I went out to Dan Pilot, got hundreds of those things printed up. Back then, nobody was putting anything on the roof support, so we were the ones kind of that led the way on that one as everybody's getting ready to head out and have some fun out at the fast track. It looked pretty good on this particular day here, didn't it? Pure Stocks getting ready, to, actually Street Stocks, excuse me, Dave Manese and the bunch, they're all getting ready to go out and have some fun. But on this night, something else would happen that would kind of delay us a little bit as Chuck Bauer checking out the shocks. Notice no coils on that either. I don't think they even had Schrader valves at this point. I think he might have just been changing a shock. Dale Plank getting ready to go. There is Kevin Bates, former crewman at age 14 for AJ Slideways. Alan Johnson. And boy, what a packed pit area. There's John White once again. As everybody's come, the street stocks you see are going 
out or coming back in and the sportsmen i believe are going out had a little weather at that point too so uh, we had to put a little delay on the show then and of course everybody's running it in getting dirty there is a young jessica zemkin getting ready to go I'm not sure if this was a mod or a sportsman at that time i think it was a sportsman but i'm not 100 percent sure jip ortez and the pizza logs ride there is mr tonkin from down in pennsylvania again and how about the man the myth the legend jumping jack johnson i got so many pictures of him it's not even funny Bobby Varon, you can see the air helmet on at that point. No, the air is not cool, but it's cooler than your air outside. Ronnie Johnson with a young Mike Mallett, who was writing for Area Auto Racing News then, it looks like. Of course, Chad Homan and his uh, longtime girlfriend, Mary Lou, right there getting things. They knew that was taking that picture, by the way. I like doing it again. This is me trying to be artsy again. I'm an old PBS guy, so you can't blame me. Sean Donath. Notice the hauler in the background. They got a bus hauler in the background. Not sure if that was Ray Bliss, but he was one of the guys that did that. And the big thing with Sean Donath in this 87 was it was a big block Ford. Sam Reeks, the fourth, the sportsman ride. Not sure if that was his dad or Sam are up there. Here's a couple pictures from up top. I love to take the pictures from up top to kind of document how everything was going. And notice the two-seater modified. If you look in the lower left of that picture, there's that two-seater modified. And it looks like Ferris Lawnmowers was sponsoring this night. I see the lawnmowers out there. Great view from up on top at Rolling Wheels Raceway. And you can see the crowd not quite there yet. Ryan Phelps, I guess, overheating a little bit at this point during the race. There's our friends, um, Rachel, Courtney, and, of course, Cheryl, 5050 Sellers, uh, Canandaigua, Cuca County, Rolling Wheels, and, of course, Syracuse. They were the ones who would sell the tickets there. Uh, Alan Johnson and the Native Poker 14J. And you can see they're making a choice on tires here. And I think they were cutting tires at this point, although I'm not 100% sure. This is obviously a staged photo. Told Alan to look the other way, try to look, you know, the contemplative thinking man. And here he is, Frank Cozy. Describing something to somebody on the crew as they get ready to go. There's Matt Shepard in the background. How long, young does he look? And again, this was 15 years ago. Brett Hearn talking to his crew as he gets ready to go out. And there's Bobby Varon again. This is right after hot laps. Jeff Trombley relaxing in his hauler. Chris Schultz was not relaxing as he did a little damage and somehow managed to smile for me as he was pounding out those panels on his familiar number 24. And, of course, the cameras back then, once it started to get dark, you couldn't do a heck of a lot, so I did what I could. They let me on the track back then, so I was able to get a photo of somebody who hopefully uh, didn't have that steering wheel with their thumbs inside or they would have hurt themselves on this one. Pretty significant wreck here in that one. And this is the last one of the bin, as Alan Johnson obviously was first to draw. Uh, that's Shane Andrews with the mic, Gary Spade on the right. And the white pants, that is Chelsea Miller. Hope you guys like this. Good luck to all you guys down in Charlotte, man. Have fun, guys. Hit the blue E to subscribe. Every time we're doing something, in this case, showing you some cool photos. So have fun, guys. Race safe. Uh, be fast. And have fun, guys.